Breaking news overseas, the U.S. launching more than a dozen new airstrikes in Yemen in response to attacks by Iran-backed Houthi rebels. <laughs> Basically, the U.S. has lost to Yemen. We have been defeated. Again, the US, by the way. The U.S. government has been defeated by Yemen. Because we also lost when we were doing the proxy war via Saudi Arabia. So this will be the second time. As most of you know, the Houthis in Yemen were attacking ships that were connected to Israel or headed to Israel, basically to make it a little bit more expensive to commit genocide. And this has made it difficult for the United States and Israel economically to get their ships through that incredibly important, uh, important area. It's been, you know, they, they, it's like, what, did, what does the U.S. do? They can't stop it, really. So if they want to get their ships through, they got to do something. They, they, they either got to destroy all of Yemen, which is not easy. Uh, and her, and would be horrific, or they have to basically give up. So Edward Snowden tweeted out, it took just three months for the U.S. Navy and its multinational coalition to somehow lose a war against Yemen. And here's from Bloomberg. The U.S. said it would consider revoking its recent designation of Yemen's Houthis as terrorists if the, and they always throw in Iran back, if the militants <laughs> cease their shipping attacks in and around the Red Sea. Basically, the U.S. is backing down. U.S. may revoke Houthi terrorist label if they stop Red She Red She ship attack. Red she that was the Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> that is the Sean Connery version. The Red She ship attack. The Red She ship attack. must be Um, Washington seeking diplomatic off ramps. That's basically like you got your ass kicked. Yeah. Says Yemen envoy. Houthis have been attacking ships in the Red Sea since November. And uh, I, I probably should just uh, just comment in here that uh, I, I support the, the Houthis uh, standing up against genocide. I, I would prefer they took a curse upon all Jewish people out of their slogan. That would be awesome if you could do that. But this is just yet another example <laughs> of how Israel ruins things for all Jews and pushes a legitimate rise or, or pushes a rise in legitimate anti-Semitism. Anybody, people. anybody who's like worried about actual anti-Jewish feeling should hate Israel because they're the driving force behind that. Absolutely. And uh, it makes people think that all of what you're saying is it makes people think that all Jews are Israel. And yep. that is not true. Um, but to get to a kind of a deeper layer of this, this shows the waning power of the U.S. empire. I mean, the U.S. empire is absolutely losing hegemony, which is a good thing unless the U.S. decides to respond to it by just murdering uh, an insane number of people, which is what Israel's doing. And but th this in general is good news. The U.S. can no longer just dictate to every country in the world exactly how they want things to be. And the U.S. has proven how do they want things to be? Well, just just put a sociopath at the helm of the ship and see how he wants things to go, because that's what it is. Well, and also like. I, I feel like this also speaks to the waning paradigm or the paradigm shift of Israel just being the victim because or like Israel's right to self-defense, which is like legally and logistically bullshit. But it, it like because if this were happening in, you know, 1970, then I feel like the world, much like it did with uh, in 1968, would come in line behind Israel in such a way that like you, the U S might have enough to just outright attack Yemen. Uh, w once again, I should say, uh, but now that like, there's so much shift towards at the very least, like not seeing Israel as the victim and especially towards realizing that they are the perpetrators of violence. I feel like the U S realizes, okay, well, if we started an all out war with Yemen over this, like people are not going to have our backs especially when you compound that with the U.S. history in the Middle East, which is, I want to say, checkered? 